Yeah, it gets a little bit crazy sometimes. I'm gonna try to see if I can actually do one of the tricks, which, yes, which is the flying yak. Yes, that's fucking amazing. I think we're backflipping, also lacking the way a lot of control. Whoa, okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Zamorbis Siege, where I'm gonna focus on some of the creations that have been affected by the skin packs. And whoa, hey, okay. Hey, you know what? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty awesome actually hang on let me just get into the camera view there we go so we have first person and third person and uh, you have a little <laughs> a little blast there that's pretty damn cool okay so infinite ammo is on pretty much give me all your money yes thank you oh well I didn't get much money but hey I definitely got your lives and I will take your lives any day he does not only have his awesome cannon or blast wave but also his katana and I'm I'm I'm, I'm not close enough there we go I believe the starting cube was supposed to be red not too sure why that is green because I did load the skin pack it doesn't really matter too much hey you can I chop your ass to pieces yeah <laughs> That was badass. So not only can you chop your way out of hell with this guy, but you can also move your hand in general, and that's pretty much it. But there is one more feature that is pretty damn insane. <laughs> I love this. So let's just go for a little stroll around the sandbox here. Why don't we? Let's go over here to the cube and see if we can land on it perfectly. I'm gonna go against an army pretty damn soon. Whoa, way. Okay, it's, it's still incredibly wobbly. I gotta say that. Hang on. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be setting a little bit of a challenge for myself. I'm gonna try to take down this entire army because let's face it the old man from china needs a really worthy enemy to be able to be slain onto the battlefield and and i do not have any god powers activated so i cannot use infinite ammo i only get one of those energy blasts or blast waves so let's see how it goes all right come at me come at me i got the sickest katana why in the hell are they not hitting me that's that's kind of strange maybe they should <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, I, I I hear something that's been broken up. You know what, I should probably switch to this. Yeah, that's much, much better. God damn it, I annihilated almost everybody. Come here. Huh, all we have left is the pussy trumpets. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. That's still a soldier over there. Come, you're... Why are you not coming at- Whoa, shit, okay, well, you guys are experts in flanking, there we go. Alright, what do you think about this? <laughs> okay, I didn't get the last guy, come on! God damn it, now I'm just spinning the way hell out of control, I don't know- Okay, there he is, come here! Come here, you! Yes! Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to use any god powers, but I'm just going to be a dick here anyway and set their tents on fire. There we go. Alright guys, you are now looking at my favorite besieged creation. This is... This is so freaking ridiculous. And the only reason why it's my favorite is because it's so unexpected. Probably someone at some point were going to make a yak, but this yak is 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 so completely different towards anything that I've ever seen in Besiege. I mean, we had toasters, we had couches, we had mobility scooters, and now we have yaks. So the first thing that makes this guy so special is that he is insanely weaponized, and I am not... Whoa, okay, it's, it's kind of like scooting on ice, but uh, I think you had somewhere around 14 to 16 grenades that you can then launch, and then... Whoa, shit, okay, I, I messed something up. Up there <laughs> but you basically just gotta go and then drop the grenades hoping that nothing else sticks to you and then detonate everything behind you so that's pretty awesome now we also have a fire breath wait wait no no that's not that's not the fire breath god damn it f is the fire breath the fire breath of yaks or whatever the hell right next up for the weapon we have an amazingly overpowered water cannon and this is this is really insane not only because it's actually reaching as far as it's reaching but also because the yak seems to be kind of farting hey i don't want to catch you guy in the slipstream there there we go yak farts in besiege if global warming ever happens we know what cost it you know i wonder can we combine the two things no no we cannot otherwise that would make steam but that would probably act as a thruster so we would be shot the way hell out of here but not only do we have the amazingly overpowered water cannon and flamethrowers we also have somewhere around i think it was 21 missiles and you have seven triggers, so that would be three missiles on each trigger. That's absolutely insane. Also, now I know what this is for, by the way. I just remembered. You basically are a suicidal yak. That's the thing. It's kind of a dark theme, but hey, that's usually what they are, you know? Now, not only are you a suicidal yak, but you even have a special camera to watch the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I, I mean, as you can probably tell, there was a bit of smoke on the side, like way out on the side from it. And it's because I think the blast field of it is created as kind of like a nuclear explosion, meaning that this thing can do tons of damage. But before we go and check out the damage, I want to show you the last thing, which is supersonic speed. <laughs> no shit. 
<laughs> Where the fuck am I? Yeah, it gets a little bit crazy sometimes. I'm gonna try to see if I can actually do one of the tricks, which, yes, which is the flying yak. Yes, that's fucking amazing. I think we're backflipping. Also lacking the way a lot of control. Whoa, okay. All right, you know what? Just to manage the last trick, which by the way is known as meteor rain, I'm gonna have to put down the speed a lot to somewhere around 21%, mainly because I don't want lag, but also because I need to control the camera just a little bit better. And I think I can do that with there. So here we go. And so first you gotta take off and then fire off all the missiles. Whoa, this looks so freaking cool in slow motion. And then press K and then all the debris. Well, I didn't really press K, we just kind of exploded, but all the debris looks like meteors. All right, now we're actually getting somewhere out into space and just to see all these small fire trails behind it, that is really what the meteor rain is all about, I guess. So when you're all the way out here, you can basically see all the beauty of it. However, I was a little bit late to the party with all the camera angles because there is four of them. So I just, I, I don't have the order down completely yet, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, destruction power test commencing, I guess. Whoa, okay. <laughs> now, you see what I mean about the blast radius? What the hell is that flag up there doing? But this is basically the damage that we caused and holy hell, it's, it's quite something. I I mean, if you just test out one regular bomb, then it's not going to be this much of an explosion. At least the blast radius is not going to reach this small tower up here. Again, I don't know what the hell is happening with the flag here, but it's actually pretty cool. You know what? Hang on a second. Can we pick up that flag, by the way? Can I go ahead and do that? No, there's... The oh, yes, I can. Yes, this is my flag now. This is actually quite fun. <laughs> Okay, so next up, this is a creation by the one and only Besiege This. And whenever I start it, it kind of tends to explode and fall down a little bit. I don't really know what's up with that, but I think it's not supposed to do that. I'm pretty sure it's not. Aha, see, I found the problem here. There's a mountain in the way. All I gotta do is just move it up a little bit higher. Uh, where in the hell is the starting block? I think it's somewhere around over here. All right, moving it up definitely seemed to work. So let's press O. And apparently this is a really, really super fast, but also a super low block count uh, train. You know... Besiege this kind of likes to go nuts with the block count sometimes, but this is actually only 200 blocks and thanks to the skin packs It looks absolutely amazing But of course we also have a lot of other camera angles and here's where it gets kind of interesting You obviously have something in the back from the side of it. Why are we shaking? Ah, that's okay And then we have one in the cockpit. Is that a cockpit on a train? I have no clue and then we have one from down below and the last one But my favorite is the turning camera and this basically allows for a lot more of a smoother view with this whole thing. Actually, there's one thing that I would really love to try with this. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but I would love to try it. Ah, uh, okay, I have a little bit of an issue here, guys. I can't seem to fit this thing anywhere that I really wanted to, because I actually wanted to see if I could make it go through some of these here, oh, God damn it! some of these here rock loops, like right over here, so we could basically make it go through some of these, but there always seems to be a mountain in the way. Still, it's an amazing creation. Don't get me wrong, this is absolutely beautiful, and actually, let me, let's, let's just take a look at this without the skins. Look at that. That's still, I mean, Either way, this looks seriously cool. But as soon as I start the simulation, <laughs> as you can see, actually, actually, you know what? It may not be able to align up properly, but we can definitely blow it up because that's also the beauty of Besiege, to blow stuff up, right? Whoa, okay, hang on, let's focus here. This looks weird, kind of interesting. <laughs> Why is the top part not blowing apart? Okay, something seems to be falling off over here. This looks really, really cool, I gotta say. I don't do nearly enough of this. You know what, guys? I want to throw something out there. If we're gonna do some Besiege episodes purely based on cool explosions and absolutely mayhem and destruction, please leave a comment below and tell me if you want that, because that would be absolutely amazing for me as well. And if any creation is utilizing skin packs to the fullest, it will be this. This is a Volvo 480, no, you know what, EC480C excavator, I hope that's correct, uh, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is what I mean by saying that skin packs can, you know, transform so many things into much, much more than just a simple vehicle. Because if I put this on, yeah, it's still really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. This is absolutely amazing. But just the small colors there, it really adds up to so much more. So let's go with the arrow keys. And actually, for such a big creation, this is incredibly maneuverable. And whoa, okay, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe invincibility mode is a pretty damn good idea. Maybe just lowering the speed at tad will also help me here. So, guys, I have come to conquer the gold that you have offered me so many times. Let's do this. There we go. Can I just pick it up like this, please? 
Let me pick it up. God damn it. Okay, you know what? You know what? I need to help myself here. I need to help myself. So I got to get out here. And and I think that we can just do this, right? Okay, well, that's the wrong fucking way. Yeah, this. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I got to destroy it. But this is pretty damn easy. All I can do is just, whoa, okay. Steal all of the gold. This is mine now. Okay, up there we go. Let me just, let me just grab a few more pieces, you know, because I would like to feed my entire village back home with gold. So, whoop, there we go. And since you're so kind to offer me this, whoa, hang on, I cannot miss that piece, then I will not say no. Okay, I hope I can't lose any of this. Can I just, yeah, you know what, sure, let me take that guy along with me. Why the hell not, right? I need a trumpet player as well when we have family dinners. Okay, so this is a little bit easier than I initially thought it would be because they're not bumping around the pieces. They're not, you know colliding with each other and basically jumping everywhere like i would actually come to expect a little bit but no this is pretty damn steady this is going really nice okay let's let's drop out our payload here i think that i need to maybe oh hang on a second is that g i need to push so that it all falls out yes it is oh god damn it now it's stuck in there you know what it's it's completely fine i can help myself again all right last up today we have this and this is one of these magic cube movers kind of things and uh, i'm just gonna try to take off right away because this is pretty damn interesting so it's not stationary in in the air i gotta say that it's not stationary so as soon as i unpin the pin block basically this happens and then you sort of gotta whoa hang on hang on a second hang on a second no that's the wrong way okay okay wait wait a second wait a second what 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 why why hang on no 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 go the other way you know what i'll just reverse the rotors <laughs> i'll just reverse the rotors and everything will be completely fine i guess not we're about to go down again but hey it's gonna be a softer landing how about seeing if i can rotate this just to fit the cube on there a little bit better actually i think i I shouldn't even touch that to begin with so let's let's not do that is this okay yeah i feel like that may be okay oh wait, wait no 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 god damn it that sucked well either way this was actually something that i was hoping somebody would make and i've seen a bunch of other designs out there as well so that's pretty cool but this is the one that i thought would work the best and i gotta be honest i thought that the cube would just kind of hold up the creation i don't know why but that's just sort of what i thought but this was some more besiege and i hope you guys enjoyed this please leave a like if you did and also let me know if you want the complete destruction episode in the comment section below so yeah tell me that i'm pretty sure most of you guys will so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace